All right, how's it going? Today we're going to learn how to create an alignment and label it for a pipeline that has multiple start and stop. <clears throat> so let's begin. The first thing that we want to do is to make sure that all of our lines that we've been given join up where they need to to form one individual uh, length. So you see here that we've got multiple lines in the same location. So we just got to make sure that they're not overlapping. Join them there. Bring this one to me. The other line, then we use the P edit function. Once again, multiple, we select the ones that we want to join. We hit enter, press J for join. Then see that you only have one link there. Okay. Again, we need to continue on making sure all of our links match up and we don't have doubles and then join them together. J for join, hit enter, and then we've got our line there. What we want to do is generate a running change though. <clears throat> so we need to break our line and join it so that the change runs down here and then we'll pick up another one to run on this way. Or we can start a new length here. That will cause issues later on because you have such a big difference at the bend. So what we're going to do is break it here, join these two. So that one's now joined. And we just need to join these final ones. All right, so now we've got all of our multiple lengths. It would be much easier if we had one continuous alignment. Um, the process wouldn't be very much different, except we wouldn't have to do all the extra bits of work. So the first step, or the next step, is to go along creating an actual alignment. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we go to alignments, create alignment from polyline, select the first bit of line, hit enter, make sure the direction is the direction that we want to go in, hit enter again, and then because we've got multiple ones here, we'll just leave this counter alone. Um, the start change for this one is going to be zero because it's our first one. The layer that it's going to go on, we're going to call alignment. And let's make it red. I'm going to hit OK. OK. Uncheck this. You can leave this on. Let's modify our label set. In this instance, we only want to label the changes. We'll see how 20 meters looks. We don't need minor changes. 
We don't need any of them. Just our major change. And then we're going to just edit our style. We want it to be rotated 90 degrees from our alignment. And we want to offset it by about 15, just to bring it off to the edge there. And let's modify our format to just be decimal. Uh, that will remove the little plus symbol here. Let's go OK, apply. There we go, OK, OK. And then we hit OK finally. Um, let's change our scale view so we can see it. And there we have it. Now, we want to look at our final change, which is 100.11. So we're going to come along to our next chain, to our next piece of line. We're going to do the same thing, alignment from polyline, hit enter. We want to reverse that. There we go, now it's going in the same direction. Our start change this time is 100.11. Uh, and add a bit, so we carry on from the previous change. We're going to put on our alignment layer. We're going to remove or untick the curve option and hit OK. And then we have our changes here. Now, <clears throat> we always want to be doing this with a view in mind of what scale we're going to be um, doing our drawing at. So if we were to say minus to a thousand, So once we see what 1 is to 1,000 looks like, let's say we want to go 1 is to 1,500. That'll capture most of our project in a couple of drawings. If we say 1 is to 2,000, we can get that portion there that portion there, we get the whole thing in three drawings. So one is to 2,000 is what we're going to work out. We do that at this point <clears throat> so we can set our annotation scale in the model space and deal with what size text we want. You'll see here, this every 20 metres is probably a bit too much. So what we want to do is select the label Edit alignment labels, changes increment, let's go for 25. We also want to modify that label style to have a background mask so that when we put the imagery on, we'll be able to see. Let's go apply. Okay, that looks a little that looks a little bit better. Let's do the same again here. Let's change that increment to 50. Um, we don't have to change the background mask again because that's already done for the whole style. It's going to look much more tidy on the drawing. So um, that's at 50. Do you think we could go 50 on this one? Yes, we can. Okay, so once again here, we've got the same problem where we've got an offshoot. What we want to do is break it here and 
join that offshoot with the start. All right, there we go. So we're going to get our next. Oh, first we need to check our final change here to 80.99. So the next one is going to have to be at a minimum 281. So create a line from polyline. That's the direction we want. Change is 281. In this instance, the name doesn't matter. You might find other applications where it does, but for us, we're purely, in this example, looking to get our change labels generated for plotting. Okay, let's edit this to be 50. Okay, and then we'll go for our next one. So we're at 508.58 at this final change, which means we need to be at 508.59 at a minimum. process all the way through and that is how you generate change labels for an alignment. Alright, I'll catch you later.